Hi, I'm Connie. So I met Chris last April at a bar and basically it was hate at first sight. <laughs> I didn't see him all night and he randomly came up to me and he was, I don't remember what he said, I think he was just like, hi, how's it going? And I was like, hi. <laughs> then my coworker and friend Emily, I tried to pawn, his name is Chris, off to Emily. And I was like, oh, my friend Emily actually thinks you're really cute. You should go talk to her. <laughs> and then he goes, she actually sent me here to talk to you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then I was like, you look 20. Are you even allowed to be in here? So then he showed me his license and I saw that he's from Ohio and I used to live in Ohio. So seeing that, I guess, made me be a little nicer to him. And then I also, Thought he kind of looked like Henry Golding. Emily and his friend Peter were really into each other on the dance floor. So then I kind of had no choice but to talk to him. But he was just able to be really sassy back. And I don't know, I guess that just made me like him. And now we're in February and we've been together since. And I'm obsessed with him. And yeah, things are going great. Set the scene, I'm en route to Nashville with my girlfriends. We get in on a Friday night at like 11 p.m. And we're like, okay, we're just gonna go to the bar for like a couple drinks and then go home. So we go to our Airbnb, we get all dolled up, and then we head to a bar on Broadway if anyone's been to Nashville. So we go to this place, it's like a two-decker, so there's like live music on the bottom and then the balcony. So we go up on the balcony. And we're chilling up there and I look down and I can see these guys like looking up at us. We're like the only people up there. And then this one guy looks at me and he points at me and he's like, come down here. And I look at my girlfriends, I'm like, no way, we're not going down there, like, no thank you. So then he keeps trying, he keeps pointing at me, being like, come down here. He's blowing me kisses, I catch his first kiss, I throw it on the ground, I stomp on it. Then he like pretends to be sad about it, so then he blows me another kiss and then I catch it, I put it in my pocket. He keeps doing this and then my friends are like, okay, let's just humor this guy, let's go downstairs. He obviously really wants to talk to you, so I'm like, fine. So we go down, I have another drink and then he sees us outside the crowd and then he does the fishing pole and then like, I don't get on the line. I was like, I'm not getting on the line. And then my friend Kirsten's like, he got me. And I'm like, okay, great. So then he got me because I we followed her in and we're just dancing. And he's like, what'd you say your name was? And I was like, I didn't, you didn't ask. And he's like, I'm Austin. I was like, I'm Allie. And he's from Iowa. So I'm in New York and he is in Iowa. And he was there with a bunch of other guys from Iowa for a bachelor party. We ended up really hitting it off, hanging out the whole night. And then we hung out the next night in Nashville and then he left. We didn't kiss, we didn't do anything. We just kept in contact. And then one day I'm like, YOLO, I think I'm just gonna book a flight to Iowa and see what happens. And it ended up being an amazing trip. We had so much fun. And then I went back in December. So I've been to Iowa twice now. I never thought I'd go to Iowa in my life. And he's coming this month for my birthday. So we're happily in love and we're dating and it's amazing. And that's it. Sarah and I'm here to talk about my soulmate. The day that I met him, everything really changed for me and life has just been better since. He has really big brown eyes and I just feel like when he looks into my eyes, everything will be okay. He has amazing energy. He really knows how to make me laugh. He's pretty much the best cuddler you've ever met. And one thing we really love to do together is go on long walks. When we fight, I'm usually right, but sometimes I'll throw him a bone. He's my best friend, and his name is Harvey. Harvey? I, what about Rob? No. We're talking about Harvey. We're talking about, like, significant others. He is my significant